The solar kill shot is a mass amount of plasma energy released by the sun capable of destroying the entire electrical grid on Earth and rendering mankind virtually back to the Stone Age. Although the probability of a solar kill shot is unlikely, it is nevertheless something to always be watching for and to be ready for. The sun consists of active regions in which positive and negative polarities either decay and disappear or mix and produce coronal looping and solar flares. Once an active region on the sun is identified, it is numbered and monitored in order to predict possible solar flaring or even coronal mass ejections also known as CMEs. A CME is a massive burst of solar magnetic fields that rise above the solar corona, the sun's outer atmosphere, and release either into space or in the direction of Earth. Once the negative and positive polarities mix, the solar flare then is closely monitored in order to determine arrival time and possible geomagnetic interference from solar wind speed and density if in the direction of Earth. Solar flares are frequent, but from time to time a powerful solar flare is recorded and placed into the X-Class category. Classes of solar flares are based on X-ray brightness and the wavelength range of 1 to 8 angstroms. The three primary classes are C-Class flares, small, M-Class flares, medium size which can cause brief radio blackouts, and X-Class flares, which can trigger planet-wide radio blackouts and long-lasting radiation storms. As seen here on the Enlil Spiral, both solar flares and CMEs are recorded and monitored in order to prepare for any possible geomagnetic and electrical interference. When these solar winds reach Earth, the plasma particles wrap around Earth's magnetosphere and meet at the magnetotail on the night side of the planet. These plasma particles rush at Earth's atmosphere and react electromagnetically, helping to create hydrogen and even oxygen. During the arrival of a large CME, or next class flare, this enhanced particle precipitation of the solar winds can be seen as the aurora lights. A solar kill shot occurred before in 1859 known as the Carrington event. Dependency on the electrical grid was not what it is now, so the incident was hardly noticed. Nowadays, such an incident would cause an upwards of $2 trillion in damage and may take anywhere between 4 and 10 years to completely rebuild. A reported weakened magnetosphere of up to 15% does little to lessen the probability as well. The first and foremost devastator would be the loss of electricity worldwide. The Aurora Electrojet would be overcharged, which in turn would induce ground currents that would completely destroy all power transformers and grids. Gas would no longer be pumped as it takes electricity for the lines to operate, and store shelves, pharmacies, convenience stores, and all other supply stores would be bought out or looted within 72 hours. Within the first week, sewage, garbage, and other wastes would begin to pile up, causing the spread of illness and disease, then mass evacuations and relocations would begin to occur. Major metropolitan areas would be the first regions of every country to experience mass panic, riots, and looting in the event of a solar kill shot. These cities easily hold between 20 and 25,000 people per square mile whose immediate reactions would be to relocate to the nearest urban and suburban zones. This means within the first few days, every city in the world would experience mass evacuations of millions of people at the same time who are all hungry, cold, and scared. For those already living in the urban and suburban zones, preparations such as food, shelter, and protection will have to have already been prepared beforehand. Areas such as national forests and national parks will become quickly populated with people trying to survive off the land. It is important to know that a solar kill shot can occur at any time regardless of solar minimum or maximum and it is not just a solar flare that has the potential to becoming a solar kill shot. Chrono mass ejections and plasma destabilizations are also monitored because these two have the capability of rendering Earth's entire electrical grid back 100 years. There is no way to predict when a solar kill shot will occur, however, by maintaining preparations and studying a survivalist lifestyle, you can be of much more help to friends, family, and strangers if one does occur.